Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Europa Universalis 4. I'm into week 36 of the competition. Now here, of late, I've been having some issues with Rebels, largely thanks to discontent brought on by my enemies, my many enemies. Let's see, is there any around here? This area does not appear to have a problem. This area does. So that discontent, the religious unity, non accepted cultures, the intolerance, all of it adds up to being just a little bit down. Uh, the positive stability would make a big difference and so I'm going to deal with a little bit of that as I finally have a little bit to spend and could almost get back up to a full positive stability. Uh, I have one province that's in danger now but I do have my navy and a small small force on its way uh, to deal with that. And it looks like they have arrived. There they are. The rebels were already dealt with. The province is just still uh, under rebel control. Just about made it all go away. Buy a and thank you. So Dembaya. It's right there. AQ right next to it. So how about we do this? You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. And we're gonna have no more rebel problems. Things you can reform. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Finally, a positive event. Uh, if you've been following the last, like, ten episodes, I've just had terrible luck here for a while of lots and lots and lots of negative events. Okay, go join them. They're your new home. couple more cannons going there. Uh, let's see, how are we doing on capacity? 11 short, I'm adding two more, so that will make us nine short of capacity. And then I still have a bunch of mercs that I'd like to get rid of. Uh, Tunis needs a little pampering. All right. Also in some other news, uh, I played about a year off camera, so not not much, just a little bit in between, and 
Mercuria. Uh, very much wanted an alliance, and I noticed wanted a vassalization. Uh, this would give me a ticket into uh, Conum Bornu. And so I went for it. Uh, so I will be vassalizing them as soon as I get to plus 190. Glory of the army. Finally, the army has come back up. Uh, and we finally have zero rebel problems. And I think I can finally do something about something. <laughs> Anything. Except for here's immoral prices. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to take the negative hit here. And we're going to convert a couple provinces. That is going to give some rebel problems for a little bit, but hopefully they'll be out of that soon enough. Uh-oh. Yemen being attacked by the Ottomans yet again. Very much like to get them as a friend, but they are hostile now towards us. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of... Ming. Okay, Ming War for Japan Tribute against Japan. Yes, I accept. Just Japan at this point. Uh, we are going to disband those three and recruit three. Get away from the mercenaries a little bit, as I have way too many mercs. Uh, I still have 19,000. Down from 48,000, so that's better. But still an unnecessary expense. Now, the next thing I want to do is there are some, uh, let's say about th that top five. So the Congolese coast is the first one. I want to get that added. There's Congolese coast. Turn that into a state and that's a big boost. that does do this to me. The Ulema needs some more, so... Expensive for a few ducats a month. It's a lot of admin power to get those cord. Why is it only 
135 and maxed out. Congolese! There we go. That's why they weren't states. Well, that will help in one respect because we finally have five of five promoted cultures. Oh yeah, I'm at war. <laughs> Sorry, not helping. Uh, what does it take to start to have three objectives fulfilled? Which ones are the objectives? I'm assuming this is. That's only one. So, it's a religious war. Uh, some absolutism. I need to make more states. I think that's... Because my force limit just went up a lot. Taking Korea, no problem. Uh, you can have the autonomy. Alright, why do I have rebels again? Bunch of point twos. War exhaustion? Issue taking a hit. Approaching 1700, and this is already my second longest piece, pretty much of the entire century. Uh, somewhere right around 1610-ish was the first of those Western Wars that have been ongoing ever since. Alright, let's go ahead and spend the ducats to get a couple new options. Like improve relations. It's not bad. Inflation reduction, yes, we need that. Come on, where's my refill? Doesn't want to give me another option. will that give us development cost fifty admin for development cost
Interesting, I didn't know that. It's because we're allies with Tunis. Right. There's the last one, done with that. continue oh yeah we're at max anyway so I'm gonna do a full five this time five units eliminated and we'll bring in five replacements ones out of the way. It's been a long time since I've actually been able to convert provinces. Oh, there goes the truce with Great Britain. Alright, screw it. I'm taking that one. to 190. What's the matter? So, we need a 190. So how do we get that? What is it now? 135. Five is max. So that's 160. We still need 30 more. Okay, a gift works. Okay, I don't know what what would we get. I give them trade power. Kind of a reversal. There's ten. So that's one forty five. And that would make one seventy. That's still twenty short. I gotta figure out how to get twenty more out of them. There's 15. Okay, we'd make it in two years. Send them some money.
So that'll hit 15 soon enough. Okay, the gift maximum is 25, right? Yeah. There's 100 ducats. We're so close now. Ah, that royal marriage would do it. They're Coptic. I don't know if this will help or hurt. Oh, there you go. Military axis. That was a plus 10. Subsidies has room for 10 more, and we're only short by 5. We will have our vassal soon enough. <laughs> Not soon enough. Great Britain, once again, so annoying, so freakishly annoying. I'm sick of... 15 years of them attacking. This is going on 90 years and they've attacked me five, six times now. Let's go ahead and convert some more provinces, huh? So I can afford it right now, and it's not having an impact in any way. Okay, we're suddenly at plus 200. And more together. Must be at peace. Okay. Well, once we're at peace, we'll have it then. Uh, you still need a commander. As yours perished. Wow, really? That's all we get, huh? And... 3.9 friendly troops is 5, so yes, you'd still be a negative. So, we'll keep you there. short let's order up a couple thousand more put them at 40 and the other one's at 43,000 Not too far off, yeah. So we'll go for military tip 24 before we do another. Now, Cairo seems to be where most of the action continues to happen. So I'll keep an eye out on that. Control 
from Panama. Uh, Yemen just lost their war with the Ottomans, and the Ottomans are now all over my border. just took a whole new level too. Never really had this game lag before. Not since uh, somewhere around 1.0. <laughs> or with some sort of mod on. for tribute. Alright, let's see how we're doing here. Ah, okay, Ming's all over that. That's gonna be done soon. Yeah, they're reclaiming the Girls, there we go. It's actually really started to get quite annoying. Uh, the fact that this... Portuguese seem to have stopped. They've, they've seen the threat of Ming and shut it down. Uh, and Britain slowed their attack. It's not been the month that we have our truce expire, but still. Now the Ottomans are warning me. Don't need them going to war with me, especially with that shared border. That would be dangerous. Very dangerous. castle. It's expensive. It's gonna cost a couple ducats a month too. I need it. Okay, 15 army tradition. You betcha. A positive event. Whoa. Alright, Japan, 
to Korea. Oh, wow. They're only taking one province for themselves. Surprised I even got two favors for that, as I did nothing in that war. There are zero mercenaries here. And you're kind of right at capacity. But meanwhile, here are definitely mercenaries. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to get rid of mercenaries right now. We're going to grow our army a little bit. Alright, there's the Papal States, and Tunisia is actually close by. Wow, another positive. Uh, let's see, what is this? Production efficiency, discounted rate, and prestige. Let's do that. Uh, that inflation reduction is important right now. Morale of armies. Let's do that. Switch you over. Still nothing there that's any better. Six thousand, and that's a significant advantage. Let's let's head that way, help them out. I think they lose ten prestige, and this is twenty years goods produced everywhere. Not everywhere, but oh, transatlantic slave trade. This is a big one. Uh, Kilwa is far from the only country keeping slaves, this being a common fate for captives in the area. Our European neighbors seem to have especially interested in this lately. Actually, this would hurt their economy. Um, yeah, shut that down. Legalism. It's one province. That's fine by me. There we go, a battle's on. <laughs> oh gosh, 80,000 and it looks like they're losing. Nope, there you go. The advantage is theirs now. What is that? Papal States just lost. Does that make you a little shy about the war? Oh, of course not. Oh, Milan. Is this the same situation as last war? Yeah, neither one of them is even remotely interested. Mercuria! Um... Well, there goes 50 prestige. I'm not going to war with the Ottomans over Mercuria. I wanted that axis this direction, but yeah, no. Ottomans are just eating up everything around them. 
and they're not getting shut down at all. Let's see which way did I want to move here? I'm always forgetting mysticism. That's not really going to affect the war score much at all. Maybe one percentage point at most. Sorry, Mercuria. Oh, I did so much to try to help them, too. Now they're threatened by me. <laughs> What the heck, Yemen? Yemen's fighting them again, though. Uh, having that castle is not going to help. Alright, they're starting to get a little bit tired of the war. And this really isn't going to help them much. They're going to be done with that here in a moment. Oh, really? The not great Sultan is really, really not great. <laughs> now, that much worse. is about to no longer exist. Alright, they're done here. Oh no, not quite. One left in reach without having to hop. Here comes the Enlightenment. The last century has seen rationalism and empiricism gaining an ever-increasing popularity among the great minds of the age. In letters, publications, or coffee houses, kings, scientists, philosophers, and literatures are discussing the merits of tolerance, the scientific method, and the spreading of Enlightenment ideals to all humanity. From universities or courts of enlightened monarchs, expeditions are being sent to measure, catalog, weigh, and map the world. 
so that we can better understand the laws that govern the things around us. Others discuss the laws that govern society and try to reach an understanding of the rights of man. In Lisboa, a colossal undertaking has begun in the assembly of a complete encyclopedia of all knowledge. The light of reason has now been lit, and many will not rest until it has been brought to all corners of the earth. Alright, that's all there is to take from there. It looks like the Ottomans want to take more from Yemen, even though they should have a truce. Age of absolutism is ending, of course. Uh, I'm finally starting to make some progress here, and I'm nowhere near getting even just a second. So, Age of Revolutions coming next. Army career, army tradition, plus 15. That's good. Merchant guilds is going to definitely take a hit, though. Uh, it's now time that I do something about that. Natural isn't going to help, so how can I give you a boost? There's a way to do it. Five prestige. Twenty nine thousand. Do I have any support? Five thousand from Dongola. So about sixty thousand. If that siege is not won, they'll be the aggressor. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Uh, autonomy change, I guess. you back down real fast without having to fight it looks like they might be trapping themselves in towards my borders having terrible luck here. That's a better channel. Inquisition. Well, that's going to help. Uh, let's do that.
the Ottomans taking a cheap shot on Yemen here. There's not going to be much left of Yemen. And looks like Portugal's getting a big bonus here. That's no good. Close to another white piece. There's no point waiting around much longer than that because it the demands take forever to acquire by forever. I mean, a very, very, very long time. Uh, so they're likely to take the white piece long before uh, they'll take something else. Seventeen oh one. I could be facing a, a real Yemen threat here soon too. Uh, there we go. So they didn't go after Mercuria. They went after Yemen. So they used Mercuria <laughs> to steal a bunch of Yemeni provinces. Cheap shot, Ottomans. Cheap shot. Very cheap shot. Hey, you said 18. Give me back that 18. Ever so close. If you were to try to take a province, well, that that doesn't count because it's the no forts. But Astoria, my uh, my family lives on this stretch here. Actually, I live in this area too. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I get that you don't want anything. I just want white piece to be over with. Ooh, Ming's all the way up here, huh? Nice. There we go. Okay, white piece. Panama, coastal center of trade. That's why I went after it. Now an important natural harbor. I finally just gained a positive thing. Of course, I mean, somebody's going to want Panama really bad now. Boy, this would be a good opportunity to lose Yemen as an ally and try to take a few provinces. But of course, yeah, they're going to... Who's your rival? Ming.
That's Oxana. Persia. I need an ally against the Ottomans. Bohemia. Equals. Stay on. Austria. Spain, are you done with me yet? Portugal? Oh, you both still hate me. You see me as a rival. Why? How? I'm not one of your rivals or enemies. I don't see why you're so hostile towards me. Why do you want Killa? Uh, let's try maybe to uh, improve relations. Maybe you'll stop being hostile. I doubt it, but you know, something. Scandinavia. Oh, no allies around there. I understand. Moose. And Xing. Malika's the only one right now that wants. I don't see how they help me in any way whatsoever. All right, well, I am out of time. I have survived. <laughs> I got a white piece. Um, and this game has just really turned into a struggle. I've had zero progress of any kind. I've barely converted any provinces. I've added one state uh, just fighting to stay alive but Portugal hasn't attacked in a long time now uh, it's really just Britain so if in the next six years I can make them less hostile towards me maybe just maybe I can finally have peace in the realm but of course now the Ottomans uh, who are slowly getting closer and closer are now right on my doorstep. Uh, we share a border, and I would have no doubt in my mind that uh, the Ottomans are going to come calling real soon. So, danger lurks, and I've had no chance to get strong enough to deal with the danger. Uh, I'm going to have to try to grow my army, for sure. Uh, so, Get rid of the mercs, get regular troops, up my <clears throat> uh, capacity, and I still have this unrest, which is really annoying, uh, because I'm like the enemy of everyone, even though I've had zero aggressive expansion for 90 years. <laughs> But I am out of time, so that's going to do it for this episode. I am surviving. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.